There are several plumbing tactics that you can employ if you're a hands-on person who wants to save money. Here are some pro tips to help you be successful and make your life a little easier, sharing those quick hacks that just make life a whole lot easier. In today's video, we're going to discuss all the plumbing tricks of the trade that you need to know about. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Reheat solder when you cannot cut the pipe. Cutting a soldered pipe is the best technique to disconnect it. However, there are situations when you can't because you can't get a cutting instrument into the space or because cutting the pipe would leave it too short to establish a new connection. To remove the fitting, heat the joint and take it off while the solder melts. Have a moist rag nearby and wipe away the hot solder as soon as possible before it hardens again. Be sure to wear gloves to avoid burning your fingertips. A short clean will sometimes make the pipe suitable for a new fitting. Before you can put a new fitting on, you'll probably have to sand off some extra solder with sandpaper or an emery cloth loose and tight pipes using heat. When a threaded connection fails to budge, it's one of the most typical issues. In this case, skilled plumbers in Fort Worth, Texas use heat to solve the problem. This is especially true when dealing with a rusted pipe connection. Over time, these pipes harden. So the simplest technique to loosen a pipe is to heat it up for a few minutes. A flame-resistant cloth is frequently used to cover the surroundings at the moment. The approach should only be used for waste and water pipes and should never be attempted on fuel or gas lines. Fixing clogs. Try plunging the drain snake vigorously before using it to unblock pipes. While plunging will solve the problem, you should clean the obstruction as well. For under $12, you can get a flexible shaft pickup tool to clear away the clog. If you have a wet, dry vacuum, another easy approach to unclog pipes is to use the suction to loosen whatever is creating the clog. Replace metal drain lines with plastic. Plastic drain lines under sinks appear to be far less reliable than metal drain lines. Plastic, on the other hand, is superior in practically every way. It's less expensive, easier to install and adjust or tighten if a leak occurs. Plastic, unlike metal, does not corrode. When a metal drain leaks, replacing the entire assembly with plastic is frequently the best option. Piggyback shutoff valves. We've all got shutoff valves under our toilets and sinks that have a bad track record. These frequently fail to seal completely, and in rare cases, they never close at all. There is an option to replace in this scenario, especially if you have recently replaced your old valve with a new one. Several home improvement stores sell piggyback shutoff valves that link to other shutoffs. As a result, plumbers simply disconnect the affected supply line and replace the valve. Another good idea is to install a new supply line. There is no need to shut off the main water valve if the old shutoff valve shuts slightly. Plumbers prefer to just place a container beneath the valve to catch the trickle. Use thread sealant. Pipe connections will never provide a completely watertight seal due to machining and quality variances. As a result, using a thread sealant is a smart idea, also known as pipe dope. Sealants exist in a variety of types each designed to function best with distinct materials and qualities. Compression fittings, ground fittings, and rubber seals can all benefit from them. Don't over-tighten supply lines. To be safe, it is tempting to tighten up supply lines. Over-tightening supply lines, on the other hand, is riskier than under-tightening them. Tightening a leaking connection is simple, but over-tightening can damage rubber seals and shatter threaded nuts. So make it a habit to tighten connections at both ends of the supply line using your fingers, then use pliers to give them another 1 8 to 1 quarter turn. If they leak, tighten them up a little bit more. Know where all the main valves are located. Know where the major valves are before moving into a new home. In the event of an emergency such as a burst pipe, this will assist in turning off the water supply. Also, be aware of the location of the main drain line. Learn more about the sewer line's access points in case you need to undertake routine cleanouts. Individual valves may not be available in some condos and apartments. Use that plumber's tape. To avoid water leaks around fittings and joints, pipe threads must be sealed. High quality plumber's tape can quickly seal pipe threads. Teflon tape is another name for plumber's tape. Before connecting any plumbing fittings and joints, wrap the threads three times with tape. It's worth noting that yellow tape is developed specifically for use in gas lines, but white plumber's tape is suitable for normal residential plumbing. Tips for using thread tape. Sealing pipe threads with tape or dope is equally effective. The biggest benefit of using tape is that it will not smear on your hands or instruments and end up on the carpet. Here are some cassette recommendations. First, the thicker tape, typically pink for water, yellow for gas, is simpler to handle and tears more smoothly. Next tip, tape, unlike dope, is for pipe threads. Thirdly, it should not be used for compression or other connections. Next, how many times should the pipe be wrapped? Although there are no hard and fast rules, the most common response we received from professional plumbers was three. Lastly, always wrap the tape around the threads in a clockwise direction. Otherwise, as you screw the joint together, the tape will unroll. 
hole. Fixing leaks in a copper pipe? If you locate a leak in a copper pipe, cutting out the damaged part but not at a fitting and replacing it with a compression repair coupling is a straightforward alternative to soldering. A tube cutter can be used. To make the needed repair, cut the pipe at the leak and use a coupler. Use caulk, not putty. Many plumbers never use plumber's putty, despite its name. It ruins several forms of plastic and stains natural stone surfaces. It also has a tendency to dry out, crack, and leak. In most cases where a plumber's putty is used, silicone caulk is a safer, longer-lasting alternative. Caulk is also very cost-effective and won't break the bank. Trust us, you'll be thanking us on this one. Make vacuuming your new best friend. Use a wet and dry vacuum to suck up clogs caused by small and hard things like children's toys, combs, or toothbrushes. Unlike a plunger which just pushes debris further into the drainage, vacuuming works better at dislodging small particles. It will be more difficult to remove an object that has been pushed further into the drainage system. Vacuuming is like a life hack in the plumbing world and will definitely make your job a whole lot easier in the long run. Dope everything. Thread sealant, sometimes known as pipe dope, is a liquid that is used to seal threads. Even if threads don't form the seal, it's ideal for practically any connection. Compression fittings, ground fittings, and rubber seals all benefit from it. It helps connections to slide together correctly for a good seal since it is slippery. Disassembly and repair will be easier years later if you use a type that doesn't harden. Check the label because some forms of dope are harmful to plastic parts. Never ignore a leak. Water costs may rise as a result of drips that continue to fall from your pipes or faucets. Every day, leaking faucets waste several gallons of valuable water. Every day, the toilet can waste over 100 gallons of water. Water leaks should always be repaired as soon as feasible. Even the tiniest leak should never be overlooked because it can quickly escalate into a larger, more expensive problem. Always check for leaks and then double check as this can become extremely costly and a nightmare for both you and the customer. Don't fight it, replace it. The faucet is toast if you feel a groove where the o-rings meet the spout. You won't have a long-lasting seal if you waste any more time and energy on o-ring repairs. Remove the faucet and replace it. This may take more time, but it is the best choice in the long run and will ultimately help you retain long-term happy clients. If you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumbing Accelerator, I put together a free training video you can watch for free right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have a sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals. How to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition. How to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales. How to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link in the description below the video. And there you have it, some great plumbing tips and tricks that you need to know about. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on any of our future videos.